What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Rage and Rotor Review. I got a review for you. Last night, I checked out Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in IMAX at 7 p.m., the very first showing. I couldn't wait to watch this film. I was super, super excited, highly anticipated film, and I just couldn't wait to watch another MCU film. I mean, I know we got Black Widow, and that was great, uh, but before that, it was a whole year of no films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of the pandemic. But theaters are opening up and now we can check out Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. And this is a pretty huge deal. And it's not only because it is an MCU film, but also it's Marvel's very first Asian-led superhero film. And this is a huge win for the Asian community. It's essentially the Black Panther for Asians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's got a huge Asian cast, like a stellar Asian cast. It's the biggest blockbuster film uh, with with such a such a big big Asian cast since Crazy Rich Asians. And uh, I just couldn't wait to watch this film because I love martial arts movies and this is a martial arts driven superhero film. So highly, highly anticipating. Let's get on with this review and I'm gonna straight up tell you that this film is awesome. It is great and I'm just gonna go like right from the start, what is it that makes it so great? Originally, I wasn't keen on the idea of Simu Liu being cast as Shang-Chi. After watching him in this, I felt that he was perfect for the cast. I mean, perfect for the choice of the lead role. And that is because he plays the, I guess the underdog so well. He plays that that character who is, he's, you know, like a regular guy. He plays a regular guy so well. And then you see that transformation, that gradual transformation into essentially Shang-Chi, the hero. And he just, does a great job with it. He he is that character and, and it is awesome. Not only in, in, in the performance, but also the physical performance. That was a huge deal. I love the the supporting cast. The the, the supporting cast is is like I said, stellar. Every single actor and actress, every single performer does awesome in this film. The ones that stand out to me are um, are Tony Leung, of course. Uh, Tony Leung Chi Wai. He is the best, like, <laughs> watching, like, he's one of the best, one of the, definitely one of the better MCU villains, one of the more memorable ones. And he's not just a takeover to villain type of character. I'm so glad that the director, uh, uh, Destin Daniel Cretton, he, he really, put more heart into this type of character. And Tony Leung, I'm pretty positive that he molded the character himself, put his own ideas to make him look more, uh, appear more relatable and a character that you can really connect with and you really understand his motives. It's all there. And of course, Tony Leung is just such a great actor. I love watching his films and he's just so, so charming. So he's perfectly cast in that role. That was the best casting choice for this film. Next, Michelle Yeoh, another legend. You can just tell that these are seasoned actors. When you watch them perform, you know that they're doing their best after all the experience that they've been in, in not only martial arts films, but just films in general. Fala Chen was also great as well. I've actually never seen her. I, I've never heard of her. I know she's famous, but I've never seen her, And but she is absolutely excellent. And also, Menger, Menger Zhang, she plays the sister of Shang-Chi, uh, uh, Shu Shaling. She is great. <laughs> she is really great in this movie. I love her charisma, her badassness, and um, just the stellar supporting cast all around. Okay, so th those are one of the great things about it. Another great thing about it is that I really do love that this is not just your standard superhero film. It's actually very different. In fact, it's a, um, it's more, it plays out more like a, like half of this is a wuxia movie, okay? By wuxia, I mean that it's like a, a Chinese period martial arts film, like a, you know, a costume drama, you know what I mean? Uh, it's those types of traditional Chinese films where they're flying around with the costumes and swords. You know, it's that, it's partly that type of film and it's got a lot of Chinese folklore in it that I really love. There's a lot of Easter eggs, if you are, a fan of those types of films and that mythology and that folklore, 
I think you will really love this film because once I saw those things appear before my eyes, I'm like, that is cool. I'm so glad they put those things, these elements into this film. That's so, so cool. Um, it's also, of course, a, a, um, a street level uh, martial arts movie. And by, by that, I mean that there's nobody with, with superpowers, really. It's a lot of just martial arts action. So the powers come later into the film. So it's a really solid and more like a unique origins story. And I really like that about it. Um, the fights, let's get really down and dirty to it. I mean, down to the nitty gritty, how are the fights? The fights were choreographed by two members of Jackie Chan, two notable members of Jackie Chan's stunt team, Andy Chang, and also the late and great Brad Allen, who is the only non-Chinese member of Jackie Chan's stunt team. He's actually worked on a lot of Hollywood films, but his work on this film, along with Andy Chen's work, is so awesome. Like, I don't use this word um, often, but it's exhilarating. <laughs> I haven't seen fight scenes like that in a Hollywood film in a long time. Sure, I've seen a lot of great martial arts fighting in Hollywood films, but this was something on another level. It, it really felt like I was watching uh, like a, a martial arts film that was um, like, like a Hong Kong production because it's got that that rhythm it's got that energy and that kinetic um, feel it just looks so good the action was shot really really well while also maintaining a sense of that um, uh, that the combination of, of of that MCU feel to it like it's it's like a a combination of, of um, I guess uh, Hong Kong style martial arts uh, with with that uh, that MCU flavor. I, I don't even know if that makes any sense, but it just felt like okay, this is on another level. This combination really really works, and it just looks so good. There, there's a lot of action in this movie. Thing is, most of the action takes place in the first half of the film. The next half is more like a exposition, but I, a lot of that exposition really works. Like it does slow down. It, like I thought that like, man, man, this movie is so action packed, but then it slows down to give you that exposition and really dwells into the character. But what works about those slower moments, those more sl dramatic scenes, is that you really get into the characters and specifically Tony Leung and just watching Tony Leung as the Mandarin, well, he's not the Mandarin, he's Wen Wu, okay? Like, seeing him, um, uh, you know, talk about his backstory and all that with such passion and charisma, and, and uh, it's just so, so great to watch. It's, it's, his performance is hypnotic, and the scenes are mesmerizing. It is so good, okay? Um, this is an awesome film. Do go check it out. It's a solid addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, is it perfect? I wouldn't say it's perfect, and it's only because of um, uh, something that's kind of technical to me. I'm a bit, I'm a bit picky when it comes to martial arts films, and this is a martial arts film. I will say that I felt that Florian Manteau, who plays Razor Fist, is I wouldn't say he's underused, but he's he's um, like it could have been anybody. It could have been any actor. And the, Florian Manteau just came out of uh, uh, working on Creed 2. And he's like a full-on big badass, right? So I just didn't feel his character, you know, like a, a character, a, a, a Shang-Chi villain, like Razor Fist. Like, I didn't feel like that he was quite, uh, he was that formidable. It, he didn't even need to be like a big guy because like, even as a big guy as Florian Manteau, he didn't, it didn't really show that, right? Like, I felt that he wasn't that, strong of a character and his presence wasn't as strong as I would have liked. Um, another character that I felt that, I, well specifically Xu Shaoling, she used the, she gets trained on the rope dart, okay? And when she was training for, there was a scene where she trains with rope dart, that almost brought tears to my eye. It was awesome. But when you watch the movie, it's a lot of that rope dart action is very, um, it's very minimal. And I would have liked to see more of that, okay? So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a bit nitpicky on the action. And the last thing is that there's the, the, the actor um, uh, who plays Death Dealer, Andy Lee, he is an amazing, he, he's an amazing martial arts trickster. That means he knows how to do a lot of flips and a lot of really amazing acrobatics, acro acro acrobatic combat, okay? He, he is incredible. But you don't see as much of that in this film. And um, my expectations for that were a little bit higher. I wanted to see more of that, 
But that's really it. Those are the three things that I would have liked and it has to do with the action and expectations for certain characters. Razor Fist, Death Dealer, and Shu Shaoling. I would have liked to see more of them doing what they do best, actually. So um, 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 it was there, but just I wanted more of that. But besides that, I still really love this film. It's highly enjoyable. It's a lot of fun. And also, it's very beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful film. It really reminds me of a lot of those... Um, Chinese period wuxia films that have been uh, made in the last 10 or so years that are so beautiful and colorful and uh, you know a lot of that is realized in this big budget um, uh, Marvel film so I'm so glad they were able to do that 9 out of 10 I give it a 9 out of 10 it's a very solid entry and a very unique type of entry like it works on its own uh, as a as an Asian-led comic book movie. It really works on its own, even if it's not connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it, 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 there's a lot of Easter eggs in there that really connect it uh, to, the, to the larger universe, so that is awesome. And uh, there you have it. That's all I gotta say. Nine out of 10, do go check it out and uh, support this film because uh, I think it's a very important film and um, it is, it's, it's just a lot of fun, okay? Go check out some great martial arts action. Uh, my name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.